Here's five little items from 2010. Big, large briefcase full of things, and they're really very nice and varied. I love potpourris and coming across things which the only common thing is they all for about the same time. Here's an amazing picture of a person levitating in the street, but how does he do it? Is there a sort of um, something behind him or a cord going up into the air of a crane you can't see, but invisible? I don't know what to make of it, really. It's quite certain that he's up in the air. Oh, about a foot and a half, I think. Well, the answer is, if I pull this down to about here, he's actually standing. Yeah, he's just standing on the ground, and there's a little dark shadow he's made, like that. He's drawn on the thing by standing a little bit further away from the mark. That makes it look as though it's his shadow, which is not. So it's very nicely done, and carefully prepared. And then the end result is something that um, you could do yourself, but you've got to choose the right sort of day, the right sort of light, have a good photographer to take it, and then away you go and do your uh, levitating act in the street. Wonderful. Very nice. From the same case, I found this wonderful ballpoint pen, which has got a spinny thing at the top, and it's got batteries inside. And this is quite dramatic, because when you push this, look what happens. Oh my goodness, suddenly it becomes a light, spins round and round, and makes some beautiful effects. Very, very nice indeed. Quite, quite strong. But this is very nice, you can read it. And this bit is an ordinary ballpoint pen which turns to open and close. That's right, open. Oh, you, you, you do the black bit to make it work, operate. The, the ballpoint pen was working too. But that's a very, very elaborate and beautifully crafted toy for kids to play while they're doing their lessons. There's another one here which is a, a ring, which is bizarre actually. It's it's all magnets. These two bits here are magnets, these are magnets. If you want to put it on your finger, it's a bit too big for me, so I take off these bits and put them aside, and I then join the whole piece up again into a ring and see if that fits my finger. Well, just about. There we are. And then this way here, like that. And if it's too tight, well, it's easy. All you want to do is add a few more of these things to it. So it's it's all like little 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 extra cords in there, but it's a nice concept and it feels nice in the hand because it's uh it's 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 metal but they are they are magnets when they're all said and done. So uh, a, a ring you can customize instantly to your to your hand and you put it on different fingers. I like that. There's a funny one here of uh, a ruler which is one of these lenticular ones. So when I bring it up to the camera, see if we can get this into focus, because the action is very, very humorous. I think we can get it. And a tiny bit of movement shows that he's got an itch in his backside, poor little fella. And he's having to rub it against the tree. I don't know whether the tree's protesting, but it's certainly leaning away from him. <laughs> a very strange object, a very strange bit of action that someone had spotted when they were on safari of an elephant giving himself his backside a rub. Yeah. The last item is really quite fun. It's, um, I'll show it down on the sheets there. It consists of a sheet of metal you need for this, and then you've got these switches here, which say on and off. Let me just take it up the camera to make sure you can see what it's saying. On and off, just about. That's the off at the top, and that's the on at the bottom. And they're shaped like that, and they're magnetic. So the point is, you put them onto a sheet like that, and now you can have a lot of fun, can't you? Going click, 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 and then click, 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 click. Turn things on and off as much as you like, and as many times as you like, because they're not doing anything. I think the idea probably is to put these on a on a cooker or something of your friend's house and say, what happens when I press this? And of course, it's not theirs at all. It's just something you added in as well. You can put them together if you like that, which is quite nice, and they click like this. But the idea is to put them on metal sheets, I think it is. So that was a good year, that. 2010 was full of fun, and these were particularly intriguing. Do you like them? <laughs>